Beep. 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 Chargers are dead. Well, we no longer see or not that often see chargers with our cameras when we buy them. Why is this? Is it a low? Uh, is it a way of making more money? What's the reason? So, Eric Gibo, ericgibo.com. Today, we're going to speak about this. Let's start. Well, for some time, uh, some uh, brands have removed their chargers from uh, their camera when they sell them. And uh, we see just a cable or nothing. I don't know yet if we see nothing. Okay, so uh, very often people say, no, this is because of the environment, uh, protect the planet, all this. So obviously, if it is to protect the planet, um, I agree that it's a good decision to remove charges. But I wanted to investigate the real situation because uh, yesterday I complained that uh, OM system, Olympus, has removed uh, charges also from uh, their... Uh, new camera and some people said yeah because uh, it's uh, compulsory in Europe in the European Union to uh, not put any chargers so I started to think I didn't know that that's a bit strange I'm going to investigate about this first uh, for the European Union but what's about the rest of the world why uh, someone in South America North America or Australia should be without any charger just because in Europe uh, they cannot have chargers okay so a bit strange that story so i started to investigate first the situation there are two things one is uh, the connector to the camera and one is the charger uh, two separate things okay although the idea is similar and what i speak about cameras is not just about cameras it's all it's for any electronics uh, device okay it can be cameras smartphones uh, tablet uh, speakers and things like this okay maybe more i'm not sure okay but at least this one okay so there are two things uh, up to now, we had several kind of chargers. I should uh, uh, show at the, at the beginning. Yeah, this typical charger, when you remove the battery from your uh, camera, place it in here, okay, and charge it. The good thing is, if you have a second battery, you can be uh, making pictures while this one is charging, okay? So this is what we used to have uh, always before. Then, uh, a few years ago, I think the first time I saw that, I think it was uh, uh, a bridge camera by Nikon. I'm not sure, okay? It was something like this. You had uh, here to the wall, so it depends on the country where you are, the socket may be different, okay? And this plugs into the camera and it charges the battery. Problem with this, uh, if you have two batteries, you cannot be charging one and using the camera at the same time. You have to uh, disconnect it to the camera and you cannot do something else. You cannot use the camera in the same time. You can do something else, but you cannot use the, cam the camera in the, in, in the meanwhile, okay? And then they started to put some cables nothing you just plug into any charger you have at home and then you plug into the camera and then nothing okay so this is what we have uh, right now the situation and less and less companies were putting this in favor of uh, this just this and now many are just putting cables like this okay so uh, I started to investigate and there are two things uh, one is the connector in the year 2009 uh, there were 30 types of connectors okay that was crazy but in 2022 well actually 2021 uh, there was uh, there were only three which was U micro usb usb c and uh, lightning by apple computer okay so uh, the thing is there are only three now and they want to have just one the usb c uh, Apple computer, they disagree, they think Lightning is a better option. Well, although in the iPad Pro, they have USB-C, well, they still say that. But I'm not getting into this uh, debate, okay? The thing is, we've dropped from 30 down to 3. And I don't see any problem with having just one USB-C connectors. So, so far for me, that's not a problem, okay? But then the European Union also said they would like to have one charger for everything. So I started to look where would be this uh, law that says uh, that they cannot put a charger, include a charger in your, uh, with your camera when you buy it. Well, this law does not exist. So far, it does not exist. It means right now, uh, there is a project to uh, create a law in uh, an act in 2024, mid-2024, when it will be compulsory to have uh, a universal charger and just uh, USB-C, okay? 
But first, each uh, member, each country in the European Union must uh, vote for uh, this, and then after it will be uh, for the whole uh, European Union. Okay, so still we have uh, about more than two years before this uh, moment. Okay, so right now nothing stops uh, camera makers to put uh, to include a charger with the camera when you buy it in the European Union. Obviously, other countries out of the Union have different laws, so uh, that's a bit strange that because of one uh, group of countries, the whole world is affected. So that's a bit strange, this story, okay? Then, second, um, the European Union, uh, the project, is not to have no charger. That's not true. The project is, when you buy a device, here we speak about cameras, they have to ask you if you want or not a charger, if you want to include it or not, and you obviously pay extra for it, okay? But they must give you uh, the freedom of deciding. They cannot include it directly because maybe you don't need it, but if you need it, you need to have the option to buy at the same time. So it means they need to have stocks, they need to have everything ready for you in case you say, yeah, give me a charger for my, cam my new camera, okay? That's very important. And second, uh, they will be obliged to tell you what charger is compatible in case you didn't want to use their charger, okay? Or buy the charger or use the one you already had. If you want to use a third-party charger, they must tell you what is compatible. Speaking about third-party charger, here I've got a Patona charger for my uh, uh, Fujifilm. Patona battery and this charger, as you can see, you can plug into the wall and also into your uh, car uh, 12 volts okay so that's uh, an optional charger okay so the thing is uh, they would need they will have to tell you this so my worry is this one I've got nothing against the fact that there is no charger if it's honestly because of uh, environment reasons okay save the planet I agree with that but my question is if I use a charger like this I've got no problem I'll remove the battery place it in there and that's it if I need two batteries, if I use two batteries, I probably need to buy this extra. My problem is when they give me just a cable to connect to any charger and connect to the camera. Okay, let's say I plug into uh, my charger and the charger fails and it fries my camera. Who is responsible? Tell me, who is responsible? I need to know that because I'm going to call uh, Fujifilm or uh, Olympus or Sony or whoever and say, listen, my camera no longer works. Uh, what happened? I was charging it. Uh, with which charger? Uh, one of yours. Okay, give me the serial number. Uh, well, no, I was just lying. Uh, nah, my uh, smartphone charger. Your smartphone charger? But this is not made for this camera. You should have used another charger. Yeah, so uh, what's about the guarantee? Uh, well, it's waived, sorry, misuse of the camera uh, and the charger. So call the charger company. Hello, Mr. Charger Maker. Yes, uh, well, you charger fried my camera. A what? A what? A camera. Oh, no, no, I sold you this charger for your smartphone. So if you plug into your camera, it's your problem. The result, the client is unprotected because this is not clear. Who is responsible if there's a problem with the charger and then it fries the camera. Who will pay for it? Who will pay the repair? If it's in, if it waives the guarantee, who will be is responsible for that? It's not clear, okay? So it means that at the end, it obliges you to buy a charger made by your camera maker because you want to make sure you don't lose your guarantee. And actually, if I put this pattern, uh, battery in my Fujifilm and I've got a problem, I send my uh, camera and I forget to remove this battery when the uh, techni uh, technical uh, service uh, opens the, the camera and see there's a, 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 a clone battery, they will say the guarantee doesn't work anymore. Okay, so do you honestly think they will not get the opportunity to tell you the guarantee is not working because you used a, a third party charger? Obviously they will. So there is a big problem with that. And then second, what's about the rest of the world? Why are they uh, applying this worldwide if it's just for the Union, European Union? Obviously, because they make more money selling you extra chargers and things like this. And 
one thing that I do not understand if I use this uh, 5 euros 5 euro 10 euros charger according to uh, the camera makers that's fine plug into any charger okay as long as the voltage is fine that's okay but maybe this this is not a good quality charger so uh, for them no problem charge with whatever you want okay but uh, why do they sell then a charger that is a lot more expensive than, than that kind of charger what do they what does it have extra because if any charger is fine, why do I need to pay so much? I mean, yesterday I was uh, presenting the, uh, speaking about the OM1 uh, by OM system, and the uh, dual charger with a battery is about 200 euros. I've seen some charger that about 50 euros, uh, some other brands, or batteries that are 60 or even 100 euros. So my question is, is uh, come on, uh, what is the protection of the consumer here, okay? Uh, at the end, they really force you to buy, uh, to pay extra money for a charger to make sure it's fully compatible and to make sure uh, you will not have any problem with the guarantee if it fails, okay? So I think this is really not fair. We are completely unprotected. And uh, when brands are telling, uh, yes, because it's because of the law in the European Union, I just say, well, if you want to start already to apply the law, uh, even if uh, it's not voted yet, I think that's okay. But then comply with what they're they uh, saying it will be okay. Uh, start offering the optional uh, charger at the time of buying the camera. I go to a shop, I want to buy the camera. I say, do you want a charger? Yes or not? But the original charger, not a compatible one, the original charger by the same brand. Do you have it on your shelf? Yes. I get it or no I don't get it I just want a cable here's a cable I don't want anything no cable no charger okay but they must give this option second if I buy a charger like this and uh, I say okay I'll invest in a charger but just one because I don't I want to save the, the environment just use one then but this year I've got this battery next year when I change cameras in two years time it's a different battery so at the end this it doesn't save the environment because it doesn't work anymore okay i've seen fujifilm that two type of batteries they have the for the x series except the xt2 xt4 sorry but the xt4 and the gfx they have the same battery so it have actually two kind of batteries but there are some brands that they have like four four five types of batteries so that's really a serious problem it doesn't uh, help the environment this is completely a contrary to what they're telling us. So honestly, I think they're just trying to make extra money, removing already the charger and trying to sell us an extra charger. And in any case, I don't mind paying for an extra charger as long as the price is fair. And second, if I use a third party charger, I don't want to lose my guarantee on the camera if there's any problem. So this must be really clarified and simplified. And this is not the first time that companies, uh, camera makers, actually use some uh, laws and uh, reasons to uh, tell things that are not exactly what they are. Up to uh, January 2020, uh, if a camera was recording more than 30 minutes in a row, in the European Union, they had to, to pay an extra tax because then it was considered like a video camera. But then, since uh, January 2020, this uh, tax doesn't exist anymore. So this limit uh, that were they were keeping uh, because of this supposed tax, well, it did exist, okay, this tax, many cameras are still limited to 30 minutes. And now they say, yeah, because uh, we want to avoid overheating. So you already had a heating problem and you were just not saying anything then because uh, you said it was because of the tax. So this time it's the same story they're speaking about the environment but the reality is uh, more than this they're making business right now and it's not because they want to help the environment it's not because there's a law that obliges them to do that it's just because they're just laughing at us that's it so this is my point of view maybe you think different okay and i repeat if it's for helping the planet i agree with it but if it's to get more money out of us i disagree with it okay 
So thank you very much for watching the video. If you feel it may interest other people, please share it on social networks. If you have not done it yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, the small button down here, and so small bell. If you click on the bell, get notified when I upload a new video, my website, ericgibo.com. If you have any question, can leave a comment below. I also leave you links of my gear on Amazon, links to everything I've reviewed by KF Concept and Sandmark, and also a link to my PayPal account in case you wanted to make a donation. Thank you very much. Please take care of yourself and see you soon. Bye.